Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the September 24, 2013 meeting of the Abington Conservation Commission. Um, and it's a little after seven. Uh, seven, seven and three, thank you. Um, and um, before I begin, do we have a quorum? We have four members, right? Yes. Here tonight, so we're all yes, set. Yes, we we're all set. Cool, okay. So I think it's going to be a very quick meeting tonight. Um, the first thing is old business. Um, under old business, open space update. Is anybody here to chat about that? I, I think that um, Joe was doing some research so that our, at our next meeting maybe he can update us. When is the public meeting? October 8th. October 8th. So yeah. we're having a public meeting to get the public's input on the open space plan. Yes, very And uh, we're going to advertise that as well. Yep, it's going to be, we're talking about, we're going to, we're just, well, we're sending notes out. It's going to be advertised with our normal meeting. We're sending invitations to the board. I chatted to Mr. Riley today, and he's going to be able to put it on that sign at the bottom of the street at Glenwood's cool. way. Um, I just have to remind him just before, but it should be no problem. Nancy, have you had luck getting the cable station to publicize things? Because uh, when I've written to Justin, I haven't had very much luck. Uh, how, how have you tried? I haven't really, yeah. Yeah, could you ask maybe and see what's the best way to do that? Because that would be a nice place to put it as on cable TV. Can I put a note this time? Sure. We can copy them on the notice. Sure, we can do that. All right. Moving on. Any other old business? Um, yeah. I yeah. did want to bring up um, uh, Harvard Street, but we could probably talk about it later in the e later on the agenda so that we can sure. get through um, the people that are here. That sounds good. Okay. So, the f um, in new business, the first thing is. The emergency ratification, 51 Everett, and Jerry did that. So did. And we have it right in front of us. And actually, I went to the site too. Um, so this is one, uh, the site was, it was a cult, well, I shouldn't yeah. steal the thunder. This no, is no, I, um, we both saw it, and yeah. um, I signed off on it, but then I su suggested to the uh, contract to put a silk fence up along them. Sounds good. It's, it's an area that has a culvert going out the back. Yeah. There was a little bit of water, not much in the culvert, but it was maybe wetlands. And I think that's where the beginning of where you live, Ross, is. I think on the map, it's not really on the GIS map, but I think that's where that is, the Colonel Hunt Drive. That's where it begins, I think. Yeah. So this poor woman was having flooding in her basin. A basement was pretty bad. They were doing the spouts, but they were also going to try and change the topography. Yeah, because when I looked at Mass GIS, there's um, not on their property, but right behind their yeah. property, there's a stream that's identifiable on the Mass GIS. Yeah. What he's doing is he's going to put a, a little manhole out back, two drains into it. From the, so I said to him, why don't you just put a silk fence, and that will mm, help. Sounds you know. Especially if she's having it look better right. when it goes up. So that was my suggestion to him. It's not in the conditions, but if Nancy could write a letter to him, then maybe it's, I don't know how you do it. So you want to you want to write a letter saying Just ask him to put the silk fence up. Silk fence, okay. Please. And where do you want the silk fence exactly? Right along that stream. I want, you know, right along. It's to the left of the house. He may have already done it, actually. I mean, oh, oh, I, I think he was going to do it that uh, Maybe, all right. Mean, I think if, it's... If, I, yeah, I'll, if wanted, I'll, I'll go by... Um, Tomorrow, I'll see if it's up and then all that names you know. Yeah. Is that all right? So our, our job is simply to ratify this quick movement that we did on this, this emergency. Um, so it's certified to be an emergency. All those who approve ratification of the emergency. We should say, by the way, this is 51 Everett Street. Uh, connect the dance spouts to a dry well and excavate for patio to deflect drainage from foundation was the work. And special conditions were no impediment to flow in the drainage ditch stream. Okay, I make a motion to approve the emergency certification. Do we have Sorry. a second? Russ, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and I've, I've signed it. I'm just going to pass it along to you. Excellent. 
we came out literally the day Ohamber Leslie sent the email. We were very pumped. Hmm? That was great. Thanks. Um, so the next um, issue is um, a request for determination filed by the Massachusetts Electric Company, DBA, National Grid, to replace the existing circuit switcher within the North Abington substation at 60, it says John Street, is it John Street? Yes. Nope. 60 John Street within a previously developed uplands area with a 100 foot buffer zone, within the 100 foot buffer zone of BBW and a 200 foot riverfront of um, French Street. So let me introduce myself, my name is Dennis Bergen. I'm Kathy Creighton. Jerry Kelleher. And Russ Wasser. All right. I'm Carl Smith. I'm a consultant with TRC, working for Mass Electric, doing business as National Grid. And this is Nate Kisselberg. He's the engineer on the project. Um, and it, yeah, you guys have the packages that I sent. Uh, it's great to see that you have them. I trust you've read them all cover to cover. Um, actually, so do have. Yeah. I actually went out just now and had a look at them. Awesome. So, great. <laughs> So National Grid's been in the process of upgrading their infrastructure. Um, as you know, we've, uh, or you may not know, but we've got some work going on down, or soon to commence down at Plymouth Street. There's a substation on Plymouth Street. Um, we have the order, order conditions for that work. This work is um, uh, um, an upgrade of some existing infrastructure in, uh, on John Street. It's the North Abington sub. And um, it's on John Street. The actual property address is 60 Charles Street. But the um, if you go out and look That's at this, it. yeah, yes, so that one the said assessor's the assessor's property address is 60 Charles. But the uh, if you look at the sign on the fence at the sub, it's yeah. 60 John. So it's but anyway, it's all the same. Talking about the same uh, parcel. And there's a photo uh, in the. There's two photos in the packet that I gave you, and I can just flip these around. You guys can keep the map in front of you if you have these. So that's a, that's a picture of the actual circuit switcher, and um, the you know so uh, Mass Electric National Grid. You know their infrastructure is pretty old, and in order to um, maintain uh, and improve reliability, uh, redundancy on the system for when you know when things get overloaded or when we have storms and we need to, you know, they need to move uh, electricity around to get from here to there so you can flip the lights on. They're um, upgrading a lot of this stuff and so that, um, those, that tower is the circuit switcher. The, um, the work that's proposed out here, uh, they're going to take that off and put a new one on top of that existing tower so there won't be any excavation uh, associated with that tower, but in order to do that work, they have to bring in um, a transformer, which they call a mobile substation. And if you go back to the, um, back to the, uh, the figure that we provided, you'll see that black rectangle is the location where they're going to stage this temporary mobile sub. It happens to sit on top of about a 32 foot by 20 something foot um, concrete pad. <coughs> that housed a, uh, a building associated with um, Mass Electric's operation down here in the past. Obviously the building's gone, there's just a cement pad um, that sits at grade. So this uh, mobile substation is on a trailer, they'll just back it in, it stays on a trailer, rubber tire trailer, it'll, it'll be staged right there. Um, and it's a pretty firm gravel lot there. Um, well, and, and with some vegetation and also the um, uh, the concrete pad, so that's so they'll bring that mobile sub and a mobile circuit switcher as well um, that will sit there for the two or three months that construction's occurring. That so they can switch this out. The existing transmission line that comes in from the south that feeds the substation um, will then be uh, stopped short of this structure which is inside the fence line. Um, and in order to get the, the 115 kV line into the mobile sub, they need to, they need to install an, an H-frame structure <coughs> uh, just outside the fence line of the substation. And it's those two um, yellow, 
those two yellow uh, squares on your drawing, they're gonna that they're gonna install two. So it's an H-frame structure. It's basically two wooden poles with a crossbar over the top, and um, they're gonna install that. Uh, it'll either be installed with a truck-mounted auger or um, an excavator. All the impacts from that will be temporary except for uh, the existing structure and they are proposing to leave that structure in place in case they have issues down the road. Hurricane, you know, we all remember Hurricane Sandy, fresh in our minds. Um, if they need to bring in a mobile sub on an emergency basis, it's very helpful to have those poles there so they can bring it in, set it up, and um, do the work uh, without you know, without having to take it out, reinstall, things of that nature. So the reason we're here is because uh, the work is going to take place in the buffer zone of the PVW and um, within the uh, riverfront area of French Stream. Um, you've been out to the site. I think you probably agree there's not a lot of habitat value um, we'll, uh, to, to the area being uh, what it is and what it was historically been used for. It's a, basically a field uh, with hard gravel packed field. Um, it's out of the floodplain associated with French Stream and it's, um, you know, the impacts, the long term impacts, uh, in short term for that matter, uh, will be limited to the footprint of those poles. So. Super. And um, I should say, it was a really well written submission. The request. Um, but in the submission, um, the commissioners will know, notice that actually this is discussion is really um, under 310 CMR 10.02282. A2. Our old friend, where if a utility, you know, they're maintaining, repairing, or replacing a utility, as long as it's not going to substantially change the area, um, or then, you know, they really have a waiver for an <coughs> intent, and that's why it's very good that they came to, to, to us and told us what the work was. But it is done after that one. We've seen it before with the um, Route 18 and the gas company. But if I may, does anybody have any questions? Any commissioners have um, any questions when or comments? The um, circuit breaker you're removing has SF6 gas in it. Is that going to be just removed as a whole without the SF6 gas released, or do you know? Typically, we uh, we remove the FX6, FX6 gas before we take the circuit switcher off the stand so that if you dropped or cracked it, you wouldn't have the hexanoma release. So we have a vacuum system that's Draws the so you, because yeah, because it's hazardous. So I just, yeah. just want to make sure you weren't venting it to the atmosphere that Absolutely. it's being. You're going to bring in equipment to specifically right. pull the, the gas off. Okay. And um, I, I haven't been out to the site, but I looked on the, the mass um, GIS, and it, it looks pretty similar. Dennis, you were out there. This is all just graveled, right? That where yeah. all the work area is yeah, the essentially already disturbed already. Yeah, it is. The, the black okay. build, the big black building is actually a HVAC um, factory and then you walk mm -hmm. over to where they have their um, site already and actually what you can't see is that there's a whole lot of um, telephone and lines, utility lines, mm -hmm. all going here and across French Stream. It's just, uh, it's just really a, a crossroads for all these different lines. And you can see where they're going to the building. Um, the <coughs> platform, the cement platform is already there. And then there's gravel all around that brown place with the mm -hmm. gray there. That's gravel all around there. So they're not, you're not really not taking anything down. It's just um, working in place. So the big thing is just putting up hay bales or something to protect the wetland on the limited yep. work. There's actually, the wetlands is quite far. I mean, I would say it's well, about 10 feet away, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. within our thing, of course, so, but there's, it's actually, you'll see to the right of that, there's um, quite a lot of spaces, just ordinary, I, I don't even know if you call it grass, but it's, wetlands is quite far away. Yeah, from well, I mean, you can see the, uh, if you can see this green line here, that's the 100 foot, foot buffer, buffer zone, so and here's really the about the 80, over here. 70 feet, this is the only yeah. area where we're going to have any excavation, where those two yellow, um, you know, those two yellow boxes are, that represents where the, um, you know, where the poles will be installed, and, uh, and that will be done, you know, within about half a day. They'll put, they'll, uh, ex you know, either excavate or drill and, and um, install, so install the foundation, the grounding foundations for those poles, and then the poles will go in it and they'll backfill inside the pole with, with crushed stone. 
it's a it's a very flat area. Um, you know, we could we could certainly put um, uh, you know some hay bales around where that where that actually yeah. Well, you talk be. about the siltation barrier. That's why sure, I was asking. Yeah. I was yep, getting yep. to that. And there won't be any you know there won't be any um, stockpiles left overnight. I mean, this will all be done in a day, um, so there won't be any you know need to. Yeah, I think they, the, stock, the, some you know, limited bales. amount of hay bales would sure. be appreciated yeah. out there, yep. just because. I, I, do you guys agree? Just to just to keep the limited dis, the disturbance Absolutely. to a minimum. Yep. Because as Dennis pointed out, there you're pretty far from the well end. It's I about, don't think you need to do it on the whole limit of work. It's right. about okay. if you think of a car length, it's about two to three car lengths from the flat concrete mm -hmm. flat to where the first um, scrub comes from. That's a, you know mm -hmm. that's indicative of a wetland. So it's quite. There's quite a lot of room to maneuver and all there. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any other comments? So, um, if uh, are there any comments from the floor, from a big audience? No, no comments from the floor. Okay. We're for us. We're for us. Good. We're Excellent. For okay, so you got to vote there. Keep the power going. That's good. You got to vote there. So. I'll bring it back area for thirty years. <laughs> I'll bring it back from the floor then. Yeah. Um, so, um, Kathy, you want me to close out this hearing? Mm -hmm. so I'm going to close out the hearing, um, and then do I have a motion um, to um, a, ne a positive de determination would say they have to go forward with notice of intent. A negative determination here would agree with them uh, in their submission that they don't have to go forward with notice of intent. Um, and I thought that um, it would really come under number three. The work described in the request is within the buffer zone as defined in regulations, but will not alter an area subject to protection under the Act. Therefore, said work does not require the filing of intent of those intent subject to the following conditions. And the following conditions might be hay bales mm -hmm. along the line, um, uh, the, along the boundary, do you think? Uh, uh, the, uh, along the boundary, um, where work is being conducted, that might be the easier way, right? Would that would that be? Sure. Yeah. As, yeah. yeah. I, I'm trying to keep it so that you don't have as, to. I don't want. I or, just don't want to put know. it on the limit of work line because right. you're going to end up we'll in do, we'll places do, we'll where do, you're do, really not working. We'll do more disturbance. Yeah. Putting the hay bales in. <coughs> and also yeah. number five, which says this area described in the request is subject to protection under the Act because it is within the buffer zones. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, since the work described here, herein uh, meets the requirements <coughs> for following exemption as specified in the Act and Regulations, no notice of intent is required. And I wrote maintenance, repair, replace public utility under 310 CMR 10.2.02, two in parenthesis, a in parenthesis, two in parenthesis. So I'm going to pass this along. Okay, we're going to make that motion. Do I have a motion to approve as, as read? Um, to make a negative determination of applicability. Make a motion to make a negative determination. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So I'm going to pass this along to you. Sure. It actually was really well written. Did Thank you me. write it? Were you the one who wrote this? I did, yeah. You're very, very good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for thank coming. You. Um, so, is this is today the date oh. of issuance? Or? Uh, oh, yeah. I'll mail it out tomorrow. Yeah. Is that okay? That'd okay. be fine. Okay. Good. Otherwise, I could save you the postage and walk down and <coughs> make the copies myself. But I can see if the copier is on. Do you want to do that? Did you need it? Um, <coughs> we can yeah. and copy it. Yeah, either way. I mean, it's just. Cool. Well, actually, do we have time? Um, you don't. I, it doesn't matter. We it can mail matter. it out. I we mean, can mail it out. We're looking okay? at October. Be fine, October. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, would we're, you, Nancy, we mail that to? You have my address, right? Yeah. On yeah. The I do emails call. back and forth. Okay. okay. If you can mail that to me, that. Thank great. you very much. Great. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Thank you. <laughs> So I'm going to, before we get to correspondence, um, is there any other new business? Did you have something on Hancock Street? Harvard. Harvard Street. Oh, Harvard Street. We went, to, that's really old business, but um, that was the, um, you know, um, Ann Welch was here last meeting 
um, off of Highland Street. Um, Harvard is the Paper Street uh, beside oh, it yes. up there. So um, I, I, I think Mike went and looked at it and said he had, didn't see much, and I looked at it from, I did look at it myself. It looks like he hasn't gone into the wetland at this point, because I looked on Mass GIS, GIS, and at the end of his property, um, there's a wetland for sure that's there, that there's a, a little stream that right. crosses so that he is going to be within the buffer zone at some point. Um, but I don't think he's disturbed it at this point. Um, whether I don't know whether he's within 100 feet or not. I don't think he is yet, but it's hard to judge in the field. Right. Uh, Russ um, was talking about that too. He was saying yeah, so that there is a way. The street looks okay, but then you go <coughs> to the edge and drops down. Somewhere. Yeah, it, where it drops down, I think, is where, you know, uh, it's probably where it starts. You know, I don't think he's disturbed yeah. it yet. Um, but I guess what I was going to suggest is that perhaps, I don't think an enforcement order is appropriate nor necessary, but maybe just a reminder letter um, to Mr. D'Andrea um, telling uh, that if he's going to be working within 100 feet of the wetland that is on or near his property, that he needs to file either a request for a determination or a notice of intent. And I think that's, you know, from my perspective, I, th I think the other issues are actually a zoning issue. And the, the zoning enforcement and the selectmen probably need to address that. Right. Okay. I've done pretty bad on my levels lately, but we'll get them out. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry to add to your list, no, but that one I thought was just the way to handle it. That sounds a good way. Just to a it. reminder. Yeah, that sounds that a good. That was way. my only suggestion. What do you think, Ross? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so correspondence. Um, most important, I'm afraid I nick this, took this from our thing, but it's um, the latest edition of the Northern Woodlands. Has anybody seen this? It's actually very, very good. It talks about the great hurricane of 1938, which I'm sure Jerry has stories about. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to pass and see if anybody wants well, to Well, you get to read it first. So will you take it home and bring it back next time so we can read it? Um, you give us a review on that hurricane. <laughs> we've, got, um, we've got an email from Al Trakimas, and this is the Adam Street development that they were doing. It's just uh, you know, a building they were doing. Um, and it seems now the planning board has come to an agreement with only two minor revisions on the minor site plan review for Adam Street, Zero Adam Street. We are now in a position to proceed with the Conservation Commission. Please provide us with a date to appear before the Commission to continue the review process. I understand that we have we are required to re-notify butters that, and that you will be re-advertising. Okay, please notice, uh, let me know how many copies of the revised plans that you require for us to continue. Also, it would be appreci appreciated if the Commission would provide us with any questions that they have in advance of the meeting. Whoa. I, I, don't, I don't think that's going to mm. work. Okay, <laughs> well, um, okay, well, we'll try and, we'll try and help them out. We'll I mean, try. Um, but I, seven I, copies, do you think, seven copies of, of, of the plans? Yes, and ask them for a, co a full copy of the final calculations that have been approved by the planning board. And do we want um, the minutes from the planning board? Oh, yeah, this? we do. Especially the especially and the correspondence that goes back and forth, especially the last couple, so we can see what. Okay, you, you may not be getting the minutes because um, they're not done. I, well, the meeting was last night, oh, uh, so and okay. I know she's got a backlog. She just came back from vacation. Okay, um, yeah, but there's um usually what happens is the um, planning engineer writes letters, mm -hmm. you know, comments on the plans, and I think those that's what actually would be really helpful. So you want to have a look at the file. Now, is it a big yeah. file? Do you know? Well, I want to see the, the couch. Because so I think if it's a file, we'll, what we'll do is we'll make it available in the office. Would that be Because you can't make seven copies of the file. It would be huge, wouldn't it? What, the planning board yeah. file? Yeah. No, no. All I'm, I'm, I'm asking that the applicant gives us, we should have a full copy of the calculations you know, we should have a copy in our files as well, Dennis, a full copy, and they owe us that. So um, if you could ask them maybe to make two or three of them, we could look at them, you know. Calculations. You know, the stormwater calcs. Okay. Is, we that, should have a is full that what the issue was in the planning board? Yes. Um, there was a four foot of separation yep. issue with the groundwater, and it was all based on the stormwater calcs, and there was also a two foot um, okay. issue in some spots. So okay. whether that got resolved or not, I don't know, but it appears that they're close. 
well, there you are. We have we can give them some questions then on that. It, um, but it would be I'd prefer to see what I'd like to see is the plans and the calcs so that we don't ask them questions that aren't applicable anymore. Yeah, that's not a problem. So, so let's and see. Um, and the planning board. It, really, what I want from the planning board is the the correspondence between the planning board and the engineer. PMP. The, the pro PMP usually writes a nice letter, especially the last one they just did. Okay. We, we can get that. Nancy and I should be able to cobble that up. Probably Nancy. Um, <laughs> okay. All right. How about a date? So we have to give, we have notice requirements here. Um, so what dates are we going to are available? Well, we, we're not going to do it on October 8th. So it would be October 22nd. Oh, so and that Because of the open time. space. Yeah. Meeting. October so 7 o'clock. October 22nd. Yeah, 22nd. And see, I'm going to borrow this. Okay, I'll give it back to you. It's just I wrote on yeah. it's in there. Okay. Okay, so October 22nd at 7 p.m. All right. Um, while we're on dates, while we're on dates, um, I have been in correspondence with um, Weymouth and um, Department of Transportation on Route 18. Um, and Nancy has been following it. We've been, um, they want a meeting on, route, on the Route 18 um, plan for Weymouth and Abington Conservation Commissions together. Um, really, a lot of the work is, is on the Weymouth side. And um, the... Um, is. Sorry. Um, the Weymouth Conservation Officer, um, who is Ms. Schloss, S-C-H-L-O-S-S, -S, has volunteered the Weymouth town premises. They have a big amphitheatre there mm -hmm. for the meeting. It'll be on Route 18, um, just like the one you went to, Jerry, but I think it's slightly bigger. Um, and uh, they just want dates. So they've had, they're bringing their experts here, some of them we know, like Steve Ivis, who've been here before, um, and they gave the experts gave dates of Thursday, October twenty fourth, or Wednesday, October thirtieth. Is this at or, night or is this during the day? I presume it's in the evening time. You know, they never actually did it at night time. I mean, I presumed it's at night time because both both conservation commissions meet at night time. So it will be at night time. Okay. Well, if we're the 20, 22nd is our next meeting, which must be a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So they gave us a Thursday and a Friday night? Thursday and a Wednesday. You said the 24th and the 25th, though, right? No, 24th and the 30th. Or, oh, the 30th. 30th, sorry. Day before Halloween. Mm. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is not on Halloween. So. I would vote for the 30th just so that we don't have two meetings in one week. But okay, yeah, you would go for the 30th. Does that make yeah, sense? Fine. No, we'll be able to make it on Wednesday. Oh, yeah. is that a Wednesday? Yeah. Oh, we can always make it on the 24th if you don't mind going two nights. No, that's a the because that's a Thursday, the yeah. 24th. Yeah. I don't the, care. It's a Thursday, 24th. Yeah. Yeah. So if we just have two meetings in one week, it will be done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's ask a very important person. Is this going to be a meeting? So, do you think you are you going to be available for that? No, no she's not available uh, for Thursday. Are you are you available Wednesdays? Oh no, no, I'm joking. Yeah, I am. Oh, oh you are. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> we take this all very know. seriously. <laughs> yeah, we take this very seriously. You know. Um, okay. So we think so. Thursday, October twenty fourth. Um, presumably at seven p.m. I'll get back to them and tell them. Um, that we're okay for that and I'll, you know, it'll be posted as an ordinary meeting uh -huh. um, and we get the address and everything and this will be for the um, Department of Transportation Route 18 Notice of Intent. So they're going to send us the papers and all. Um, they'll file the Notice of Intent in early October but no more than 21 days prior to the selected hearing date. So. So that's probably when we'll get it. Okay. Okay. All right. It was um, it was pretty extensive uh, when we just added the six foot um, path.
passing lane or whatever you want to call it, extra lane years ago, this is probably going to be pretty intense. There are spots that they're going to be disturbed in wetlands along Route 18 all yeah, the way. I, I, wasn't doubt that I was think we're going to, it's, um, the one thing we did do, which was extremely helpful is, um, and we may want that night to try to set up is a, a site walk with MHD and we just went from each area that was going to be disturbed and I, it was really helpful. Okay. In evaluating uh, the plans and feeling comfortable. All right. I could. Do you, did you want to site walk before October twenty fourth? No. Anything? It probably is good to hear their spiel first. Right. You know what they're going to do. And understand what their their plans are, and let them tell <coughs> us, and then um, maybe go out afterwards, Dennis, okay. and and walk it because we might have better questions. Excellent. Okay, so I'll report back to them and say we're on for Thursday, October 24th. Mm -hmm. Great. Hopefully the Weymouth, the Weymouth group are meeting tomorrow night. That's when they meet their Conservation Commission. So hopefully they haven't picked Wednesday, October 30th. <laughs> you know. But um, hopefully, that, I mean, we're, you know, we're having it in their place, so hopefully they'll give us the benefit. Okay, well then moving on, we got um, a notice from the Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, the October 10, 2013 Zoning Board of Appeals, please send any advisory comments. And Do they have addresses listed? They have. It's um, 2 Maple Street. That's Maple Street, hold on a sec. 2 Maple Street. Um, Abington, for variance to use previously approved second building on lot, rear building for residential use is 2 Maple Street. There's no construction. No, construction, no construction, so we don't have to look at that one. Not, okay. not that one. Um, 19 North Avenue. So 19 North Avenue, special permits under Chapter 175A, the zoning law, to renovate an existing four unit residence to a three unit residence and to renovate an existing two-unit residence to a single-family dwelling, variance uh, to allow less than 10 parking spaces at 19 more North Avenue. Is so that no construction either? No, it's the next one is. Okay. 498 Linwood Street. Oh. A 50-foot frontage and a lot with variance and special permit to construct a single-family home in the floodplain in Wetlands Protection District at 498 Linwood Street under Abington Zoning Laws. I included a map. Oh, good, thank you. Excellent. <laughs> I was just going to ask you, where is it? <laughs> oh, it's got green stuff on it already. <laughs> 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 this must be off. Awesome. So, so, um, it looks like. They, um, there's a wetlands line around it. Mm -hmm. So Nancy, head. usually the advisory is so to, for us to tell zoning that they need to get a permit from us, right? Isn't that the point of this? Yeah, they need to get a permit. Yeah. <laughs> there's wetlands that are outlined here in, that they've highlighted in green. So that's so pretty cool. Thank we'll you. We'll have to, um, so Nancy, are, are you able to contact the zoning? come off of here. Or? Next you go over. Oh, just the driveway. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to get the driveway <laughs> right. and then they're going to build the house back. Yeah, but this is the one we did before? These two? Yeah, I think it is. I think we're, I think we're down here. Yeah, well, there's, there's the real homestead right there. Right. right. Yeah. They're just doing that one now and they're doing this one now. Oh, okay. So this one, they had, there's a, the, there's a lot of yeah. wetlands here. This way and this way. And they're saying that there's, this is an upland. Mm -hmm. So, um, be nice if this was cleared so that we could walk in. Why, no, they're not going to waste the land that I could all the, <coughs> not giving up all the land. No, no. So we'll have to go, when it comes in, we'll have to go yeah. walk it. Okay. Yes, let's get it to the um, um, Before we get the, to the minutes, um, Jerry, did you go to the meeting in Norwell, the conservation meeting in Norwell? It's this week. week. Is it this week? Yeah. I thought it was last week, no? no? I thought it was last week, too. I think, yeah, I thought it was last week, too, because Russ and I... Did I miss it? I think you might have missed it. I think it was last week. Because yeah. they, they had a really cool um, thing about what to do with people who are doing decks and all, because, you know, you don't want them to file notes of intent, yeah, maybe. Yeah, really. 
one started at the age of 45. Yeah. You must have read it wrong. Did you go to a Russ or no? no. We were, Russ and I were talking about it. I was going to go, but it's the whole morning. It's Thursday, the whole morning. So I didn't go. Um, so I think you missed that one. Oh, well. Because I was going to ask you what they did there. Not to worry. Usually I, I, I go, I wonder. Is, it, is that right? I didn't. It was last week, I think. Yeah. I guess I looked at it wrong. Okay. That must be my old age. Not to worry. <laughs> I don't, we know, none of us went, but, you know. We're, we're thankful to the poor. Uh, I think it's situated in Norwell, we will organise it. It's really nice. Okay, approval of minutes for, actually I have two sets of minutes here, September 10th and August 13th. Oh, you know why I have, I know why I have that. No, that's okay. Um, for September, approval of September 10th, 2013 minutes. Um, Do I have a motion to approve? Make a motion we approve the minutes. Do I have a second, second. Russ? All those in favour? Aye. Okay. Building permits, Jerry? Yeah, I looked at and everything's all set. I signed up on. Excellent. Okay. Any other business? Do I have a motion to recess? I make that motion. A second. I second that. All those in favour? Aye. Awesome.